Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of viewer donations. Now this right here, if it hasn't really already become a regular video series on this channel, I'm officially announcing it now because I am consistently amazed at the extreme generosity that's out there in the viewing audience. That You guys are, are so generous and willing to send packages my way to unbox on video. And we've got three items to open up today. One of them is contained inside of this piece of paper right here, which we will get to, but we've also got these two packages and I'm really excited to unbox all of this stuff and I got to give a huge thank you to the three viewers who donated these items to me and let's just dive right into it so the first thing we're going to take a look at is this piece of paper right here this comes to me courtesy of Geekenspiel that is a name that probably rings a bell to some of you guys. I've mentioned him a couple times on this channel. He runs that eBay store where he manufactures replica PC case stickers. Now this entire thing started a few months ago when I purchased some stickers from Geek and Spiel's eBay store. I found out about them through another YouTuber, the Nostalgia Mall. I'm sure some of you guys know who he is. And uh, yeah, I said this would be really cool to showcase on the channel and to use for some of my restoration projects because I occasionally get computers that don't have any case stickers on the front. So I ended up purchasing some of them, and then he found out about the video through a lot of you guys purchasing stuff from his store after watching my video, which was really awesome. And ever since then, he has sent me mail to my P.O. box, which is also really awesome. And a while back, he sent me this envelope right here. Well, I've got the letter taken out of the envelope, and you can see it's a bit discolored here, but no big deal, because inside of here, he sent says, hi Michael, well you had to see this one coming, Steve aka Geek and Spiel, and this is really appropriate because this month, October, Microsoft officially released Windows 11, and well, what we have here are some replica Windows 11 case stickers, although with the old Windows flag that you would see in Windows 95 and Windows 98. So yeah, these are designed after the Windows 95, Windows 98 case sticker, but they're really cool and I purchased the Windows 10 variant of this to stick on my main computer. In fact, it is still on my main computer to this day and I have no intention of removing it. Well, if I ever upgrade to Windows 11, I'll probably replace it with this one. Unfortunately, I can't actually do that that right now because my processor is a 7700K which is not supported by Windows 11. So I'm going to stick with Windows 10 for the time being but I am looking at doing some PC upgrades because believe it or not and it seems crazy to me that my PC build is I built it back in 2017, early 2017. So in early 2022 in just a couple of months here that build's gonna be five years old, which seems crazy to me. But yeah, so I, you know, I've been kind of noticing, especially with video editing, that it, I would really benefit from having a processor with more cores. I have a 7700K, which has four cores and eight threads. Uh, yeah, so huge thank you to Geek and Spiel. And guys, if you are interested in purchasing these, they are for sale on his eBay store, and I'll have that link down below. Moving on to our next package, this one right here comes courtesy of Hamish out in the United Kingdom. So huge thank you to Hamish for sending this out to me and you guys may be asking, what is this? Well, this right here relates to the trusty Dell Latitude D610, a machine kind of like the Windows 98 PC that you guys haven't seen in a while on this channel. And the reason is exactly the same. I just haven't had as many video projects that involve this computer. But Hamish offered to send over the docking unit or the port replicator for this machine, which I don't have. And yes, if you didn't know on the bottom here, there is a port to plug in a port replicator. And well, now I have one. So we're gonna open this up. It's had a long voyage here all the way from the UK. Let's go ahead and slice it open there it is now i have seen some of these before uh, these were you know very common with dell laptops from this time period and so all we should have to do we're just going to set it here and there is no note or anything like that i've looked through the entire package uh, so just in case you guys were wondering i'm not forgetting anything and all we have to do is just well we can do it like you're supposed to here and just pick up the laptop and just set it on and there we go Laptop is docked to the port replicator. It fits perfectly and to eject it. Of course, you just press the eject button right there 
and it comes right off. Isn't that fancy? So this will absolutely come in handy for future videos where I want to set this up and use some of these ports here on the back because you do get a much wider port selection here on the back, which is pretty great. So yeah, there you go, a Dell Latitude port replicator. Yeah, super cool. So thank you very much to Hamish for your awesome donation. Let's go ahead and set the Dell Latitude D610 aside and move on to our last package of the day. This right here is one that I'm really excited about. I mean, well, I'm excited for any package, as I always say, that shows up at my PO box for sure. But this one here is a mystery package. This one comes to me from Stephen Chapman, AKA Beta Collector. Now I'm sure some of you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. Beta Collector is, well, a collector of Microsoft Beta software, but he, he goes by Stephen Chapman as well. That is his name. And he writes over on Paul Thurot's website. He's the guy who acquired another copy of the 20th anniversary special edition of Windows XP, the copy that included the extra disks that you had to register on Microsoft Japan's website, use that voucher code that coupon code to claim those additional discs and it was thanks to him that I was able to make that follow-up video which you can go check out here if you missed it so uh, yes I mean he really lives up to his name beta collector because he has a ton of beta software like way more than I have guys and I'd highly recommend following him over on Twitter if you use Twitter I know some people don't but if you use Twitter uh, and you want to follow him and check out uh, all the stuff that he gets into I mean guys you won't be disappointed he has a ton of stuff i've been following him for a while and uh yeah he he just posts some really really cool stuff but he reached out to me a while back and said hey i want to send you some stuff what's your po box and uh, he didn't tell me what he was sending me so this is a complete mystery i have no idea what's in here though i suspect that it's beta software of some type uh, at least something to do with microsoft but who knows it's a mystery package that's what makes it really interesting so without any further ado Let's open this thing up and see what Beta Collector sent our way. So let's uh, slice the tape here. Okay, so it looks like we've got a jewel case already. Ooh, very mysterious, an unlabeled jewel case. What do we have? Okay, I've actually seen him post these on his Twitter page, at least I think. This is an MSDN development platform, Disk 11 from October 2000. And I assume this right here is going to be... Oh no, this is something completely different. This is Microsoft Internet Information Server 4.0 Beta 2. We have the Microsoft Services Realizing Potential MGB 2002 Technical Briefing. And yes, they are uh, Disk 1 and Disk 2, or Disk 1 of 4, Disk 2 of 4. So I assume, let me just close this up very carefully here, that we're going to have Disk 3 of 4 and 4 of 4 in here, perhaps? Maybe not. Oh, we got some completely different. I Well, those may be in here, they may not be, but I mean, whatever, guys. This is, this is awesome stuff already. And check this out right here, guys. So we've got uh, Microsoft developer network development platform windows nt version 3.5 and win32 sdk pre-release 1994 is the copyright date which i mean makes sense that's you know windows this is the windows nt 3.5 era wow and look at the design of the disc too you got the windows flag there like on an actual flag that's really cool i've never seen these before well honestly i suspect i'm not gonna have seen most of the stuff that's in here i've not seen well there was that one disc that i i vaguely remember him uh posting a disc like it over on twitter so this is really cool so far, definitely some really unique stuff. So we'll set that aside here. Let's continue diving into this. So right here, it looks like we have another. Uh, oh, this is sealed. Microsoft Developer Network Development Platform Premium Release. This software, uh, or the software on the enclosed disk is licensed to the user. By opening this disk case, you indicate your acceptance of the Microsoft license agreement. Windows 95, Win32 SDK, Back Office 1.5 SDK, Final Release that old Microsoft developer network logo down there. It's your writer to the end user license agreement. Man, that is so cool. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna say that a lot, just heads up because well, all this stuff is super cool to me. So it looks like all this stuff is contained in some smaller packages. So we're just gonna remove everything from the box and uh, there may be a note or something like that in here, but if not, that's totally cool. But I definitely wanna read uh, the note if there is something in here. And what is this? 
Oh my gosh, what is this? Holy cow, is this? No way, oh my gosh. This is a Japanese version of the Microsoft Windows 98 official first look booklet. This is just really, really cool. And uh, yes, it does have a jacket that goes over the book itself. So here's the, the front of the book. It's in black and white, but it's got this nice color cover that goes over it. And uh, man, this is just super awesome. And it's in really, really nice shape. Huge thank you, Steven. I mean, I'm I'm happy already. This is this is amazing. I mean, I was happy with the first thing. I mean, I was like, holy crap, this is really cool. But yeah, this is just this is just really awesome. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. I feel like I'll spend the entire video on it. So that is set aside. And I guess we can dive into these two here. We'll save these two large packages for last here. So let's see what we got. Now, I when I first saw these, I thought it was software contained inside of CD sleeves, but it doesn't look like that at all. Oh no, this looks like Windows Vista. Yeah, this right here is a copy of a Windows Anytime Upgrade disk. This was back in the days of Windows Vista. This was a way for Microsoft to allow people to upgrade in between Windows Vista Edition. So like if you had Vista Home Basic and wanted to upgrade to Home Premium or to Ultimate, I don't think you had to pay the full price like if you were gonna upgrade from XP to Windows Vista. I think you got a bit of a discounted price. Yeah, so this is really cool. I've, I've never seen one of these in person either, and it is sealed, and it's gonna remain that way for now. Here's the back if you were curious. Windows Vista Anytime Upgrade Disk 32-bit English. And this right here, we have another Japanese product, uh, though I think this is more of a promotional thing. I did use Google Translate, and this roughly translates to enjoy your digital life with Windows XP. And on the back here, it mentions Windows Media Player 9, and I believe Windows Movie Maker and something else that I don't have so a uh, huge thank you Steven once again I'm probably gonna thank you like four million times throughout this <laughs> video here so super cool stuff not what I was expecting at all of course I wasn't expecting any of this but anyways let's go ahead and open this up here this little package this padded envelope and see okay we have I'm gonna try to guess what this is it is a DVD case. Is it clear? It is clear. I'm gonna guess another Windows Vista related thing, perhaps a beta copy of Windows Vista. Yes! Oh my gosh. Windows Vista Release Candidate 1 Customer Preview Program. Now, I actually had somebody, let me go find it really quick here. A while back, I had a viewer named Rodney donate this copy of Windows Vista to me. This is a beta 2 customer preview program build of Windows Vista. So this right here is the Release Candidate 1 build. So it's really nice to compare these side by side here and see the difference in the artwork here on the packaging. And we've got these two priority mail small flat rate boxes. And it looks like, okay, this one right here, oh, I saw Xbox. I kind of peeked in there by mistake. But there you go, we've got some jewel cases. And what do we have over here? Oh, these look like, yeah, we've got some CD sleeves in there. Okay, this is gonna take a while to go through, so we're gonna save that one for last. I think this here, we have, uh, yeah, these four, although wait a second. Oh, what is this? Playing cards? Those are playing cards, oh my gosh. Okay, and what is, what is this? What is this? Is this like a, whoa, this is a window. This is like something you would get like at the launch event. I think reserve your copy of Windows 95 today. Start August 24th. Holy crap. And you've got some pins back here as well. Yeah, it's like an OS2 pin. And right here we have a Microsoft Windows NT pin. I actually have an OS2 keychain. It's an OS2 floppy disk keychain. This is actually my dad's. He gave it to me years ago. And uh, yeah, I've, I've had it ever since. But I mean, this right here really caught my eye and I'm gonna guess this was given away at the Windows 95 launch event, which makes this an incredibly cool piece of history. Either that or it was just some other promotional thing that Microsoft gave out to people. But this is a pin as well. I thought it was a magnet, but it is a pin. You can see so you can put it on a shirt or something that would look pretty hilarious let's see what else we got so these playing cards here are these like windows playing cards these are sealed oh my god <laughs> what this is so cool look at this running microsoft windows 95 microsoft press i kind of want to open these but the other part of me doesn't because 
I mean, while they are sealed. But I'm guessing these were also promotional items, which, I mean, Microsoft, I've mentioned this a couple times on this channel, but they spent a ton of money on Windows 95's promotional and advertisement campaign. Let's see what we have here. So this was, I saw Xbox on one of these. So let's just go through these one by one. Okay, Microsoft Developer Network Development Platform Premium Release, Windows 95 Pre-Release, and Win32 SDK Pre-Release for Windows 95 and Windows NT. Got that old Microsoft Developer Network logo down there at the bottom. Man, check that out. So there's the design of the disk itself. You got your system requirements, Windows 95 technical support, support for developer network members. Next up we have, okay, this kind of looks like a blank, oh no, that's not just a regular blank CD-ROM. That's a Microsoft Confidential blank CD-ROM, at least I think. Yeah, contents are the property of Microsoft Corporation. I would suspect that this is just a, a blank disk that a Microsoft employee would just write on or print a label on of whatever is contained on this disk so you would actually put stuff on this disk yourself um, let's see what we have here so on the back here it says these products supported by microsoft technet technical information network okay 1994 uh windows nt that's my guess. Microsoft Office. Okay, I was way off. And this right here is that Xbox disk. I wonder if this is like a like an SDK developer tool of some kind. Xbox ISM Spring 2004 demo disk. Okay. This looks like it's in Japanese. I have always wanted to collect these. I've never considered even getting an Xbox one, but yeah, this is a demo disc, so really, really awesome. I don't know how, I mean, I guess you would buy, well, this, this may have come out of uh, Yahoo Auctions Japan. That's that's certainly possible because it is, well, Japanese. But man, I, I just wonder, I would love to know like the story of how Steven acquired all this stuff. I mean, if he wants to spend the time and like explain, I mean, I'm sure he's got other things to do, but that'd be really cool to know like how he came across this, how he got these playing cards. Was he at the Windows 95 launch event? I mean, man, that would be really, really cool to know. I've said really, really cool a lot, haven't I? I think I've also said that I've said really, really cool a lot. So yeah, I just anyways, we'll we'll move on here. I'm really excited if you guys can't tell like I'm really genuinely super excited So, okay, this right here is the last uh, mini package within the big package and it looks like we've got on top here an msdn disk windows xp home edition beta 2 and we've got two more right here codename whistler server beta 2 and codename whistler advanced server beta 2 both from may 2001 disk 0785 0786 so we'll set that aside what is this here windows 95 interactive demo and sampler requires windows 3.0 or higher to run from program manager type file run dexpo.exe okay so this is probably a promotional thing to kind of encourage you to upgrade to windows 95 that you could run on your windows 3.1 system okay we've got one turned over here i'm gonna guess xp related hey codename whistler multi-language version disc 2 beta 2 from july 2001 so we're getting even closer to xp's rtm and this also looks like, oh, XP Media Center Edition. Whoa, okay, this this really interests me. E-Home Take Home Disc Emerald Beta 2, build 2691.050612, Microsoft Confidential, June 14th, 2005. I just love Microsoft Confidential stuff. I find it incredibly fascinating. Like even just this blank disc right here, like this could go on a shelf or something. I mean, seriously, I'm gonna probably put it on my display shelf back there. This is just super cool. This is all super cool. I know I've said that a lot. Anyways, eHome, I've never heard of Emerald Beta 2. I guess that's just a specific uh, terminology that they use or term that they use for this particular beta. But yeah, very neat. Okay, got some CD sleeves here. I'm going to guess uh, Windows NT. No, it's actually Visual Studio related stuff. And now we're getting into some CD cases that look like they were inside of a binder at one point. So we've got another MSDN disk right here, Windows Codename Whistler Advanced Server Beta 1 from January 2001, so earlier than the disk that we saw before. Another CD sleeve right here with uh, another Visual Studio related item, Visual Studio.net Everett MSDN library for Visual Studio.net CD2. Right here we have another MSDN branded disk, uh, Codename Whistler Professional Check. This is a checked build, uh, Beta 1 from January 2001. Another Visual Studio.net 
CD, final beta, November 2002. And I'm gonna guess all of these here are gonna be Visual Studio.net related discs. Okay, well this is still Visual Studio, but it's just a little bit of a different uh, artwork on the front. Ooh, Windows 7, a refer, I actually have one of these but you know the english version but a copy of windows 7 that shipped with a refurbished computer so that's really cool this is a japanese copy very very neat here is a uh, codename whistler professional beta 1 january 2001 codename whistler professional beta 1 january 2001 okay these look are these the same yeah they're both codename whistler professional beta 1 but they could be different beta builds it doesn't say the build number which i actually find surprising it doesn't say the build number at all and right here we've got okay windows 98 service pack 1 windows update includes year 2000 updates ladies and gentlemen there you go a y2k disc right here here we have windows server 2003 enterprise edition rc2 trial software 360 day limit on use another server 2003 rc2 but branded in the microsoft for partners artwork here you got that same 360 day uh, trial limit right here we have server 2003 enterprise edition evaluation edition this looks like the final release you have a 180 day limit as opposed to 360. Right here, we have Windows 2000 Professional, another evaluation copy. Oh my gosh, I think I know what this is. So this is sealed. And for right now, it's going to stay that way. I know, I know, I hear a bunch of you guys out there saying, come on, open this up. What is this? What is this anime DVD doing in a box of Windows stuff? Well, this is Windows related. For anybody who had any doubts, this is absolutely Windows related. And it's something that I feel just deserves a dedicated video on its own, which we will do at some point. This is going to be added to the very large right now project shelf because, well, there's a lot of stuff in the works. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes right now, and I just need to prioritize things. So just stay tuned, guys. We've got some awesome stuff coming. This video is going to be like, I think, over 30 minutes long, and it's just half of it is me saying, this is so cool. Windows 2000 Professional, one 20 day evaluation extras february 2000 free month of internet access and email from microsoft this cd also includes the msn bonus pack windows 98 preview microsoft gaming zone software microsoft money 98 trial version microsoft golf 1998 light edition plus trial versions of other great microsoft products man i feel like i'm getting way too excited for this start now msn internet access of course it includes internet Explorer, or at least it, uh, yeah, includes Microsoft Internet Explorer version 4.0. What would you expect from Microsoft? And finally, we have a copy of, it looks like another Japanese uh, edition right here. This may be the final version. It may be a beta, but either way, that's, you guessed it really really cool and that completes it guys that is everything that beta collector included for us so huge thank you again to steven aka beta collector and to hamish and to geek and spiel for your donations as well really appreciate that and guys as I always say, if any of this stuff, if any of this stuff really piques your interest and you want me to take a look at it in a future video, be sure to let me know because I would love to do videos on all of this stuff in here. But I'm going to get out of here because uh, this video is pretty long as it is. So a uh, huge thank you again to everybody for your very generous donations and huge thanks to all of you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up and get subscribed down below. Turn on those notifications if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.